And now for a look at that next weather forecast. A big setup here for us is really going to be watching that cool air stick around once again to start off the morning. 40s here for you with really only downtown up toward the Pontiac area trying to make it to 50. But overall, as we get further on into the night, Hey, we clear on out. We lose that blanket of cloud cover, but that leaves us with this a beautiful chance to be able to see the International Space Station fly over. So we got a three minute pass tonight. It's right around that 945 mark. Look in the west southwestern sky. It'll be low and then you'll see a bright dot start to go up and up and up and end kind of disappears in the north northwestern sky. That's what you're going to end up seeing. So it's much higher in the air it makes it to about 49 degrees up. So Kind of cool to be able to check it out if you get that chance. 945 is when that happens. Goes for about three minutes going through the night. Now, as we get into tomorrow, those clear skies start us off in the low 40s or rather upper 40s for most of us while the 70s take over in the afternoon. Lots of low 70s all around the area. Washington, Wayne County's all right there. And even though we've got the warmth back, you can think of it that way for tomorrow, our average highs are 75. So we are below the average mark. It's a little on the cool side, technically, than for tomorrow. But we also then, with low 70s here, all the way up through areas north of I-96, you've got the low 70s to upper 60s, even right there along the water. So while that holds tomorrow, it's weird to say, going halfway through the month, after we finish up tomorrow, we're halfway through the month of September, we do see even more heat next week. It's on the other side of this. What happens here is we've got a little bit of a note, by the way, tomorrow down near Monroe. We do have some clouds, maybe even a lake effect rain shower in Monroe County only along the water there. And it's because of this warm air or warm water, cold air moving overhead. Now there was a water spout issue on Southern Lake Michigan uh, over the past couple of days. Tomorrow it may be in Western Lake Erie. So if you're somebody that wants to go out on the water there and hold off. Now we get past that, we get further into the weekend. Saturday starts off with cloud cover building and we do see that, but rain chances stay to our west through the day Saturday. It's Sunday that the rain moves in, scattered showers in the morning, but mainly showers and some thunderstorms take over later going through the afternoon and into the evening. So when we start the day there, we have plenty of rain, absolutely. We have the 70s there as well, but we cool down on Sunday and Monday. Sunday itself, if you're tailgating the Lions game, you've got the low 60s to start the day. A couple of showers, but mainly that's after the game. So as you leave, that's where you're going to have to watch for it. Upper 70s right there as we go further into the middle of next week. That's going to be the trend that we have to watch for here with a nice little warm up on the other side of that. But it doesn't last. We've got the upper 70s next week and then right back down on the other side we go. We can probably, enjoy it all. Yeah, and that's probably the end, right? I mean, as far as the mid 70s, I would imagine. So, it, for a for a concentrated amount of warmth, part of me wants to say yes, but we're heading into an El Nino style fall and winter, which generally 85% of the time for us is warmer. So, we may see at least some extra warmth holding all the way over the next month or so. Yeah. It's just going to come in little day or two spurts, These not recent constant. Recent trends continue. You really never know. Quite yeah. what to expect. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting setup here for us. But either way, I mean, we're right on track at least for maybe getting the end of the month, start of October 1st frost setup. Ooh, yeah. I don't know if I love that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Ahmed. <laughs>